Hi guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang Gang? Yes, you, the silent viewers that don't type, or I can't comment, obviously. YouTube disabled that. Kids, to look it up. But anyways, yeah, don't comment, don't press like, don't press dislike, and not, you know, subscribe, but just comment, just watch me all the time. Yes, you, silent viewers. Thank you. Guys, you know what's going on? I mean, you know, I think I think 50% of my viewers are from US, but um, outside of that, you know, what's going on in US right now, right? With, I mean, obviously the coronavirus is like the worldly thing, but you know, there's a big um, thing going on in US right now with the racism and I guess it's more than a racism. I don't want, I'm not, okay. I, I guess I live in this kind of like a bubble, so I'm not really, educated like well like one of those like you know i guess yeah I, i'm gonna admit it i'm not really educated in that way for me to like really come up here and talk about that and a lot of people are saying to me like mommy tang you have this platform you need to like address this and talk about this yes i will talk about it today it might be a little bit of heavy um you know a topic i guess like i said i'm not an expert but i'm just going to share my two cents with you guys today so that's what the, the topic's going to be you know just the fact that i'm bringing this up it just brings like just it's a little heavy isn't it it's like a very heavy topic but um yeah let's so let's get right onto the recipe today's main vegetable this is what I'll be using to make the soup, okay? Yeah, some of you might be like, what is that, Mommy Tang? Obviously, this is potato. You know potato, right? Onion. You could use any onion. And this is, believe it or not, Korean zucchini. Yeah, the ones that you know, the green long ones, those are the same, but this is just plumpier. I don't know. I feel like the skin is a lot softer. But you could get that at a Korean market. They're, they're, they're zucchini. Uh, you could use the green ones if you have. If you don't have zucchini, just use a potato. If you don't have potato, I think you do need the potato. But if you don't have onion, if you don't like onion, you don't have to use that either. Anyways, this is the vegetable that we'll be using today. Besides that, we need some carbs, right? I mean, this is, I don't know what I'm going to call it, like, yet. Yeah, Hand-pulled noodle or, like, it's not really hand pull, so like it's chopstick pulled noodle. Or what do you call this? It's definitely called sujebi in Korean, but I don't even know what you call that in like English. And may pulled some sort of chopstick pulled up. I don't know. Yes, for carbs, you need flour. We need some flour. What else? Ah. Yes, this is kombu, dry sea tangle. They call it kombu. We call it tashima. Koreans call it tashima. So um, okay, I had to do like, okay, I've talked about this in many of my recipes, but for Koreans, for any soup, matter of fact, any Asian soup, Japanese, Chinese, whatever, I guess Chinese, I'm not, I'm not so familiar with Chinese, but, um, if you want to make nice soup umami, you know, that umami flavor, you need this bombu, tashima, sea tangle, whatever you call that, you need it. Now, if you buy it online or if you buy it, I guess you have to buy it online for some of you, but if you buy it in like American stores, that could be very expensive for like something like this, like literally something like this could cost you like $10, like, like really. But if you look here, uh, look how much I have in here. And this is one third, one third of what was in here. I already made so many soups and dishes out of it already. So, um, yeah, but I always buy this. And this, literally, the whole big bag was like $16 or something like that. You could get them in any Korean market. Yeah, all Korean market would have this. This is basically kombu. You guys know this, right? What is a white thing? I think it's like the salt. I don't know. Some people wash it off. Some people don't. I don't really wash it off. You know, I'm not going to put this back because I obviously licked it, but you really need this to make the soup. Now, if you have extra money, now if you have extra fancy, you could use shiitake mushroom, dried shiitake mushroom. It's over there. I'm not going to use it today for the recipe, but um, yeah. So let me explain this, but this is what you need to make the soup. Okay, let's, let's get going. My fan is working now. Oh, 
the celebrity fan. I think this is like the managers of the celebrity. I guess like the road manager, they carry this around. So their makeup don't run, but this is like perfect for, you know, YouTubers too, I guess. Oh, especially when I'm cooking under these lights. I have a lot of lights up here. So I'm going to teach you or show you how soup stock is made, okay? The basics. Now you could add whatever you want. You wanna stay with the Asian complement, Asian complement vegetables? Vegetable that complement, vegetable that complements the Asian flavor. Oh, that was hard to get out. Anyways, yeah. So you want to put water, right? Obviously. Oh, oh. pour water. A little bit more than what you need. So if you need like two cups, you put a little bit like two and a half cups, okay? And then you're going to add kombu in there. A lot of the Koreans add anchovies. Now, if you add anchovy, obviously it's not going to be vegan because fish is not vegan. So instead of anchovies, you could add, you know, um, I'm going to add a little bit more. Yeah. I add a lot of this, actually. Like maybe three. Yeah. And you could break it. And, and you just have to boil it. And you could put, like I said, dry shiitake in here. You could put garlic. You could put black, uh, not black pepper. You could add, uh, what can you add here? Like, you know, radish. You don't want to add carrots. I guess you could add carrots, yeah. But onions and, you know, green cabbage, green onions. You could put whatever you want. This is the basic though, okay? So let that cook. Now, meanwhile, we're going to get our veggies prepared, okay? Okay, let's cut some veggies. Why do I always... You know what it is? It's because it's not my kitchen and everything's everywhere and you know. Oh, okay, so. Okay, so um, potatoes. I washed them already. You could skin them. I like to skin them only because they taste better. And you know, if you cook it in soup, I feel like the skin's gonna kind of like, I don't know, too like papery. <laughs> Is that even a word? Papery? But you know what I mean. Like, you have paper in there. And obviously, you don't want to waste so much potato like me. I'm doing this in a really fast setting, so I'm using my knife. But you could use potato peeler. Save your potatoes. You want to boil that for about 20 minutes. You know, not longer. Not even. Like, once the water starts boiling, right? Then leave it in there for like, I don't know, like you could simmer it down to like 10 minutes or so. So you're gonna cut the potatoes, um, any shape you like. I like them thin, I don't know, it's just, I just feel like this dish tastes better when it's thin. So you wanna cut them like this, right? Right, like into four. And then you wanna cut them, like I, I kinda do it the easy way. I do this and then it kinda, you know what I'm doing? Like. See, I'm cutting it into very thin slices, right? So you want to do the same thing for this side, okay? And you could use any type of potato, but if you use a starchier potato, the russet potatoes, I guess you call it, uh, yeah, you want to put them in water so they don't brown. Same with this. You probably want to like leave it in water so they don't brown somehow. But I'm just going to leave it on the side for you guys for now. And then you're going to cut the zucchini. And I just cut them right in the center. And you do the same thing. Let me see. Do I have to cut them that small? No. I always tell you, do what you like. Okay, that's the beauty of cooking, is you could do whatever you like. So put the zucchini aside, and then we're gonna cut the onion. Same thing with onion, you know? Easy way is, I always do this. And uh, maybe like, maybe like that maybe? I don't know, I love onion in my soup. Some people hate that, but I love it. I love onion in my soup. I don't like raw onion, but... Right, and 
these? I washed it already. You could just put them in the soup. Soup stock and just let it, you know, do their, do its thing. Okay, so that's that, right? The veggies are done. Now let's make the carb, the pulled noodle here, okay? Okay, get a bowl. Get one cup of flour per person. Maybe even more. I don't know. I'm going to use two cups. Okay, two cups. Let's use two cups. You're going to add some salt into this. Okay. Now, if you like your food salty, put more salt. If you don't like salt, then just put a little bit of salt. And get water. And you just pour. Now, you want to use cold water. Don't use hot water, okay? If you want to use ice water, that's probably better, but, you know. And you're going to just basically mix. See how the soup is boiling now? Right? Just wait for it, okay? I knew I would do that. I hate working with flour for that reason. I get flour everywhere. It's such a messy thing. I need more water. All right, okay, it's boiling, so I'm gonna put the heat low. Simmer down. And I need to get more water. I'm out of water. Okay, pour some more water. How much water, Mommy Tang? I'll show you. Just wait. Be patient, you guys. Okay. There are so many different ways to make this, but the reason I make it like this, I have another way to make it too. It, it does give me a little bit of different texture, but I make it like this only because my mom and my grandma used to make it. I remember making this with my mom when I was little. My mom used to make this in the kitchen. I used to always fight my sister, be like, I want to do it, I want to do it. Listen, I'll call Pepita and Embu and show you because they'll fight. Because they think this is like the most fun thing to do, you know? And they'll be like, I want to do it, I want to do it. But anyways. So, see the consistency? It's kind of like maybe very thick yogurt. But what you have to do, you have to get these lumps. See these lumps? You need to get rid of that. So you need to keep on doing stir, stir, and get it mixed up. Maybe for two, three minutes, even longer. I don't know. How long it very takes you, you just do it, okay? Fan yourself while you're doing it. Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, I know, let's put the fan here. Oh, yeah, so think of it like a thick, thick yogurt like really thick yogurt okay actually you know what never mind don't no never mind about the thick yogurt it's like melted ice cream that's it you want the melted ice cream consistency like this see that it's like see how it's like kind of like that okay i think we're done okay so if you go to asian market there's a lot of strainers or japanese or online so everything's online these are there's strainers like this very very tight see how it's very tight only because i guess you don't have to use a tight strainer but it's such a it's a good tool to have around the house if you cook a lot of asian food i guess so see how like the kombu has like kind of like became a little flimsy, I guess. And you want to obviously I'm doing this for you guys here. But if you are doing this the proper way, you want to boil it probably longer than this. And you are going to take it out and use just the stock. OK, yeah. And basically, this is the stock for the soup for all the soup that I make. Uh, that I will be making, I guess. Mmm. It's already good. It already tastes like umami. Guys, the secret to good soup is a soup stock has to be like ready to eat. Like if you could eat the soup stock like this and be like, that's good, then everything else is going to be good, 
right? Okay, so we're gonna dump in the potato only because potato takes longer than you know zucchini than an onion, right? So we're gonna put potato in here very carefully so you don't splash all over your face. Okay, got a high heat. And at this point, I like to season my broth, okay? Let's go. Do you remember I talked about food essence last episode? So I'm gonna put a little bit of yondu. Now you don't have to put yondu. You could put mushroom seasoning. I talked about this already, okay? So this is gonna give it a little flavor. If you don't have something like this, just look for, you know, food essence, mushroom <coughs> essence, you know, whatever you like. I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce. Right, you don't wanna discolor this soup. Very little. And then garlic powder, okay? A little bit of garlic powder. You could put raw garlic, yes. You could use raw garlic. It needs more salt, but I'm gonna put salt at the end, okay? Boiling now. After you put the potato, you gotta wait till it starts to boil, okay? It has to boil and, yeah, the potato has to cook somewhat. Okay. <gasps> okay, so this method might be a little bit strange to some of you, but this is how we're gonna make the dumpling, the pulled noodle, whatever. You're going to grab, right, like this, the flour dough, and you're gonna take it, bring it over to the soup and go like this, the chopstick, and start doing this. See what I'm doing? Oh my gosh, it's raining, and my door just opened. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat that again, just watch. Carefully bring it over to the soup, whoa. And with the chopstick, you're gonna do this and get it into the soup. It could be a little bit messy job, but. You know, and like this, and like this. Who is it? Embu, you wanna help me do this? Look at, look at what I'm doing. You scoop it, right? Yeah. And you bring it over to the soup and you go like this, look. Is that noodles? Yeah, like it's like, it's sujebi. You gonna try it? You gonna try it? You know, you gotta try it before Peppy comes, because when Peppy comes, she's gonna say, I wanna do it, I wanna do it. You know that, right? Okay. Wait, 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 let me just, whoa! <laughs> wait, I mean it blends in with Here the comes stone, Peppy. Man. Here comes Peppy. What? Do it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, do it slow, do it slow though. Can I do one more? Can I do, can I do? Can I do oh. one more, one more. Can I do, can I do one, one more, more, one more, one more. Can I do, can I do, see? That's what I used to do with my sisters. Can I do it, can I do it? Try it, baby. I'll show you how to do it, okay? Look, like this. You're gonna bring it over here to the soup, and then after you go like this with the chopsticks. Shh. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy, right? Right. Like this? Yeah, bring it over here, and yep that's it but do it so you don't get it on here okay i'm gonna try yeah. one more time yeah you have to do it quick like this Shh. okay go ahead with the chapstick no yeah mm -hmm. well i guess they lost their interest i think she likes it because you always sweat so much right yeah yeah so i think she likes it you know why if she was cautious then she would be she was, yeah, she was outside she was like not even barking because she was so scared i think yeah, she was scared, but I think she it felt good. Because, like, you know, she's always sweating. Just make sure you don't get it on me. <laughs> I have to make sure you do this on high heat. Oh. I feel like it's now, you don't want to stir, because if you stir that, that flour that you just put in, yeah. like, it's going to, like, go all over the place. So you don't want to do that. But let me just show them. You're making a dough. See how you're making kind of, like, dough? Yeah. See this? this is like, like this. Dough. You'll see individual dough right here. Yeah. This is what this soup is all about. This is so hot. Okay, that it's kinda that's enough. I think that's enough. Yeah. This is a lot of soup right now. Oh, look. This is so Ooh. much, but look. This, uh. that's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> right? Are you going to join me to eat this later? Of course. Okay, I'll call you when it's done, okay? Uh, you, could, you could ask them in there if you want. 
Yeah. Now you're gonna add after the noodle, the dripped noodle. You're going to add the zucchini. My hand is pink. Don't worry. And onion. Oh, mama, guess what? Oh. The thing was the in our room. Yeah. The, um, the bed the window. Yeah. At the little white table. Yeah. That was open. Oh no. I told Emma <gasps> to close it. Did you close it? Yeah. Did you get it in the rain? Yeah, kind of. Oh, it got yeah. kind of wet, that's why. Oh, look at this. Look at this starchy soup. Oh, oh guys. Good. Look at this starchy soup. Look at this. Now, if you like your dish spicy, you're going to put either black pepper or white pepper. Ground white pepper, it's game changer, you guys. Seriously, you put this little bit in here, it's gonna be spicy, but it's gonna be good spicy. It's one of those like spice that goes into your throat and you're like, Ugh. one of those spicy stuff. Oh, you know what, Beppy, can you do me a huge favor? Yeah. Do you know the frozen, you know, if you go to the freezer, right? Mm -mm. On the top right side, you'll see and you'll see scallion. Do you remember scallion? Yeah. You know what it is, right? I chopped it all up and put it in a Ziploc bag. Can you bring it to me? You is, think you... is it all like a circle, like a tiny circle? No, they're a tiny circle, like little, little tiny it's... circle. Yeah, the green onions. Let's see if you know green? what it is. I've, I've taught you that before. Mm. Oh, a little bit of salt. That's okay. Yeah, I don't want to. So, some green pep, green onions. I usually buy them when they're really cheap, and I freeze it like this. I have another bag, but that's what I do. Do you want? Do, I'll get another bag. No, it's okay. A little spice because I put white pepper in there, but. Yeah. I, I already know because I heard you. Yeah. That's so good. You like that? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Good, right? Yeah, can I have a bowl of that? Yeah. Eat with me later, okay? Oh my gosh. It is so hot. Guys, what am I gonna do? I sweat so much when I cook. Are we done my thing? Of course not. Some sesame seeds. Thank you. And today I'll be drinking Perrier. Oh. Mm. And earlier for lunch i cooked this for my kids for amber amber loves this. this is fried kimchi guys fried kimchi is like another world okay if you love kimchi fried kimchi is like we'll be having that Fried kimchi. Mmm. Mmm. I can't. I can't explain how this thing tastes like. I just like the soup, kind of. Yeah. Just try it with the kimchi here. Oh, here. It's really good. The dough is so good. I know, right? It's a soft, right?
something your kimchi goes with everything but especially this dish mm. Are you eating kimchi with it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. What? I made a kimchi color. I have chopsticks, so I'm not eating kimchi. Here, this is called, I'm going to teach you in Korean, it's called sujebi. Sujebi. Oh, that's right, sujebi. Here. Sujebi. Shall we get into the topic, the heavy topic? Hot. You know, right now, there's, you know, thing that's going on that says Black Lives Matter. Of course it matters. I totally agree on that, but all lives matter to me. And I know some of you are going to disagree or whatever, agree, whatever, but hear me out, okay? I, don't want to get your food. I think racism is learned, something that you learn. Because if you put a whole bunch of kids in the room together, different race, different culture, and you don't tell them, they're not going to like, I don't think, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Actually, I don't have answers to that, but... what we possess outside it does not make who we are you know so you shouldn't judge people for how they look what they have how they were born what country they're from it, you shouldn't really that's the way i think you know why talking about that <laughs> yeah i'm just talking about that baby because it's important to me you know what racism is what you know what racism is yeah. No. Okay, well. It's when somebody thinks they are better than the other because you look different. Like, because maybe you're black, you're Indian, you're Korean, you're white, you know? Or like, or like and then to do the black person, and yeah. the black person says, I'm better than you. Something like that. But right now... Some people think that they're better than the other just because they're a certain color, right? That's called racism, I guess, right? That's weird. That is real, right? Like, Bami has a lot of black friends, right? Yeah. And Asian friends, right? Mm -hmm. And white friends. Mommy has friends of all sorts, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Mommy's best friend is black, Miss Terry. We can't, we can't put the name out there, but remember, Miss Terry's black. Miss Vinita's black, yeah. right? I this is what I like to say. Yeah. I don't care what color they are. I still love them. Even though they're different color, I still love them. Exactly. Cuz you don't see you yeah. shouldn't see color, right? Yeah. They're all we're all same, yeah, right? We're all same. Yeah. And the inside was same, but the outside we, we might look different. Yeah. If you all look the same, who are you going to tell who's who's bitch? If, That's right. Like if you have a better name, who if you have the same name, who you, who are you going to know? Yeah. But you know what's so important, Peppy? Mm -mm. The inner person. What's inside? That's what it's important. What's really inside the inner We call it the inner person. Right? Mm -hmm. You could be gorgeous outside, whatever color. But if you're nasty inside, who cares? You might have all this money, have all these things. But if you're nasty inside and you hurt other people, you mean to other people, who cares, They're right? Bullies. Yeah. 
But they look so pretty. And Sometimes you could be like, pretty. you could maybe you were born without an arm, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe you were born with different skin color. But if they're super nice inside, that's all that matters, don't you think? Yeah. That's what I think. That's what I teach my kids. I didn't even tell, teach my kids that, like, Peyton, she, you know, like, I don't tell them, like, oh, she's Korean, she's this, this. We're, they're just friends. They, I don't teach them by color. They're just our friends, right? Oh, my God. What? I just dropped that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Right on the button, too. Ugh. I, I have a question. Yeah. Now you did editing, it's yeah. kind of pretty hard. It is, but it's my life. No, but did you get used to it, I mean? Yeah, I like editing. It's kind of fun. The For cleaning me? up is not fun. After this, there's messier. <laughs> That's not fun. Right? <laughs> but just like, just like you're feeding your children. Yeah. Like... You know, like back to this racism thing, you know, Asian, a lot of Asian hang out with Asians, but because our, our culture, I guess, we're very based on food. Like we do everything by food. Like we greet people by, hello, did you eat today? Like, you know? And so I think because of that, maybe, you know, maybe because we, we hang around with people that we could eat the same stuff with. I don't know. Mommy. What? Uh. I know. <laughs> Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> so silly. But a lot of my diff friends from all over different what? culture, they come to my house and I feed them what I eat. Like literally, I'll cook stuff like this and I'll get to try it. They love it, especially because it's vegan. I guess. You know, everything comes from plants, so they're like, yeah, I'll try it. Like, I'm not saying, like, yeah, try this. This is, like, snake meat or, yeah, just try it. Like, it's not like that, you know? They're accustomed to all this, what's inside. It's just different taste buds, I guess, whatever. I'm but, thirsty, but I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like sparkling water, right? There's purita right there in the kitchen. Really, I think... I guess I need to be more educated, guys, because I'm not really like, you know, like I said, I live in kind of a bubble because I just like, just, I like just, you know, I stay home with kids and basically, basically just do their homework and just cook and, you know, and stuff like that. It's like my, my own business kind of thing, you know, but it's important to educate your kids, but it's important to live it. What you educate, you need to live it. If you're going to tell your kids that it doesn't matter about the color, it matters about what's inside, you need to start making friends regardless of who you are. You need to invite them, get close to them, get to know them, and show them that they're the same. We're all same. We're all same. No? We're not all, not all of us. We're different, but we're same, you know? I'm saying, no, like, we're all same like human beings. Yeah. They're not the same as, as a nice people. It's just the inside what they have. My mom is still alive, but I have friends that are so much older than me. And I swear, like, I call them, they're like, my second moms, you know? A few Koreans, a few Germans, I guess. <laughs> And one of my very, very closest mom, she's black. Um, you know, I think I don't, I don't see color only because I'm so close with them already. And when I see people, like, I remember this is like a really weird story that I'm about to tell you guys, but long time ago, I went to Starbucks inside a mall, right? And there was this, like, we got a whole bunch of drinks. And my kids were, like, kind of running around, whatever. And there was this one bench, like, it's a chair. 
And this lady, this black lady was sitting in the corner, but she wasn't like really in the corner, but she was kind of between the corner and the middle of the chair. And I was so tired because, you know, I've been like shopping with kids and stuff like that. So I got my drink and I sat beside her. But then before I asked, because she was like in the middle kind of somewhat. So I said, do you mind if I sit here? And then she looked at me like this and she goes, she goes, she goes, yeah, go ahead. Right. So I sat down and then she kind of looked at me. Right. And. In America, there's mall. I don't know if some of you guys are not from America, but from US, but there we have this like a playground where they kind of run around kind of thing. So my kids were kind of like running around and I'm kind of exhausted, like drinking my Starbucks pink drink. And then she looks at me and, and I, I no, actually, I look at her and I say, I know crazy, right? Those kids, right? And, and she looks at me and she doesn't say nothing. Then she goes, yeah, I guess. But I find this very strange. That's what she said to me. Like, literally, I'm not lying. She said to me, right? I, I looked at her. I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, she was older. She was like in her maybe like 70s or something like that. And she said, well, usually Asians don't really, you know, talk to me. Said, That's what she said. And I was like, what? what do you mean? I said that to her. Like, I was so kind of like thrown by that. And she goes, well, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I'm just, you know, it's just strange that you came here and you sat next to me and talking to me. And I was like, just because I'm Asian? And after she was like, yeah. And then I kind of got it, but I didn't get it. I understood what she said, but at the same time, like, I don't understand, <laughs> you know? So I, I said to her, I was like, I was like, yeah, well, what do you mean by that? I can't remember the words she chose, but it wasn't really, she, it wasn't offensive or anything like that. But basically she was saying like, oh, when I, you know, I see a lot of Asian, but they're so shy and they don't talk to black people. And like, you're here talking to me. And I said, that's so silly. And I said, listen, I don't know about everyone else out there, but some people are shy. You know, maybe that's why they don't talk to you, but not because they're just Asians, you know? And she was like, ah, whatever, you know? Okay, I was here. In fact, I think one of Kale's best friend is black. Kale, do you see colors with your friends? Like, seriously, do you, do you see, do you, isn't that weird? I don't know. Yeah. Our house, Kale's friends love Korean food, but they're like not Koreans, okay? They're all from different, like, she has good friends that come in here and they're like, one of them, I think one, one is Indian, one is black. She's, the other one is half black. I don't even know. I don't even like to say, like, I'm just like saying right here, like, oh, she's Indian, she's black. Like, you know, we don't, we don't like really look at it like that. We call them by names, like her, you know, <laughs> and Cindy, her, whatever, whatever their name is, you know, just whatever. And what I mean by like living it is I wouldn't, I always tell my girls, like, you know, when you guys get married, don't look at anything. Just make sure he's nice. His parents are nice and they're nice to you and you're nice to him. That's it. Love and everything will fall in its place. That's what I say. Don't I say that to you guys all the time? Yes. Nothing really matters. Like some parents are like, well, you can get married to him because of blah, 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 whatever. But I don't know. I just don't think like that, guys. Mama, I'm full. Okay. Can I go? Yeah, you want to try it? She just, she just woke up. She just woke up, but she woke up early. And then, I don't know, I guess she was doing stuff. And then she fell asleep for like another three, four hours. <laughs> and then she just woke up. Okay, I'll try this. It's good. So, guys, I'm really sorry if I offended you by telling you the story or if I didn't say the right thing. But I mean well because I am not, I don't just educate my kids, but I live the life. I really do. Oh, God, my hair is really messy. I think that's the most important part of all this. You know? You can't say really like black lives matter and then not be friends with any black people. Right? You have so much sweat on your face. <laughs> right? 
you need to have friends, make friends anywhere you go. Especially in America, you can meet anybody. I like you. You know, you don't have to just like oh, I only associate with certain people, certain like race or cer certain culture or whatever. What? Amber, yeah, Amber. Come on, Amber, come. So it's important to live it, okay? You know, just get to know them, the inner side. That's all you need to do, really. Listen, why are you trying it when you already had it? <laughs> I'm not trying it. It's just so good. I don't know. Maybe I sounded very dumb today about it, but I know. I just think all lives matter. Whoever that's hurting, the minorities or whatever, it's. I understand why there is this huge movement, but. I just personally think that you should look at per some get to know somebody for who they are inside, not what's in the outside. That's how I live. Anyways, back to that the mall story. So the girl, the lady that I was talking to her for like literally 30 minutes, we were chatting about everything, and she was like laughing. She was like, "Oh my god, you're so funny!" I was like, "Oh," you know. And at one point, like. She asked me what I do, and I was like, I post um, vegan Asian food online. People ask me, like, what do you do? I, re I share recipe online. Vegan Asian food. They're like, oh, really? That's interesting. And she's something like my my granddaughter or something like that. She's like, my granddaughter. It was like a while ago. I don't remember. She's like, my granddaughter is vegan. I was like, really? And she's like, yeah. And actually, she's in Starbucks right now. And then when you come out, I'm going to tell her about your channel so she could kind of like, you know, um, learn some stuff. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Waiting around, right? The girl comes out and then she's like, Mommy Tang? <laughs> Do you remember that? I don't know if you remember, we're like, she was like, Mommy Tang? And then, so the grandma that was, the lady that was sitting there, she, she looked at me and she's like, you know her? And she's like, oh my gosh. She was like, oh, that's, she was like, that's Mommy Tang. She's like, she's like, like she's a YouTuber. And this was like when I was active and she was like, She's like, whatever. And then I was like, yeah, I was, I was talking to your grandma. And then she was like, oh my God, that is so cool. And she was like, oh my gosh. And she was like, can I take a picture? So we like took a picture and like, we kind of like, I was like, yeah. Like, she's like, oh my God, I don't know you live here. And then we're like all being friendly and stuff like that. And we had such a good time. But like that, like, like that, like just, just because, you know what I mean? Like you shouldn't be afraid of people just because of their, what they look like outside. I don't know. That's just my story, I guess. I'm sorry if I sounded really dumb, you guys. When it comes to certain things, I'm not that educated, okay? Oh. Anyways, that was my mukbang. I think I ate all the dumplings. Like, it seemed like it was impossible to eat when I first started, but... Can I, can I have some of the dumplings? Is there any more? Not the dumpling, the dough. Here. Dough. I don't even know what I'm going to call it later. Call it. This soup. Oh, you want the onion? I love the onion, but do you like the zucchini? Like zucchini. I'm gonna give you oh, what you like because Kayla likes the zucchini. Kayla, last time you were on the mukbang, you all you did was just diss me. I edit you out a lot. Can you just be nice for once? You know, I know you're going through the teenage like hormone thingy about like if I tell you like, hey Kayla, you're like yeah, like I know you're going through that phase, but can you just be loving? Just love me for who I am. Yeah, you're done. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> you know, viewers gonna be like, she's so rude. You know, some viewers not gonna get that joke. <laughs> but they don't see you and me outside of this mukbang room. They only see us like this. <laughs> but they're gonna think you're rude. But you know, after when the camera goes on, you're like, mommy, I love you. You know? So why don't you show that side? Are you embarrassed of you being nice to me? Are you one of those like, girls that are like so nice in, in the house but at the end of the, when you go to school and then like I show up and you're like I don't know who that lady is are you one of those? Mm. are you? no just be nice you just ask me so many questions just be nice are you? 
Are you? But you're such a, she's such a calm soul, you know? Like, Kayla, believe it or not, she likes to, like, I don't know, she, maybe she's really wild with her friends. I really don't know because, like, she does have friends, I guess, but, um, she's not really wild with me. I think I'm more crazier than her. She's one of those, like, daughter that's like, mom, calm down. <laughs> she's one of those, right? I'm not calm See? Down. <laughs> she's always, like, trying to correct me. There are things that need to be correct. I can't wait to get old so you could correct me like every second of my life. Like mom. That's yeah, on me. <laughs> <laughs> like mom. Why are you breathing, mom? <laughs> <laughs> You're always like nagging at me. It's like a nagging war because she nags to me. She's always <laughs> She's always telling me like I should make more improvement. So I tell her, no, you should make improvement too. <laughs> But I don't do that to you. <laughs> Why do you have to say look at camera? Because <laughs> I would look at the monitor. So every time I, I every time I do editing, I realize I look at the monitor and then I think it's annoying a lot of people. They just can't comment because my comment <laughs> is disabled. But <laughs> no, don't say that. Yo, okay, that was, don't, don't be mean, Kayla. Be nice to me. Like I just told you that here. Eat, <laughs> eat and be nice. Okay, just let's try for at least, at least, okay? Is it advice or no? I'm talking! <laughs> <laughs> at least for like a minute, just be nice. Like if I say something, just be, just come up with a nice comeback, okay? Can you do that? Maybe. Maybe it's not <laughs> nice! <laughs> you, never said, you never said when to start. <laughs> it's Okay, start now, okay? Is this good? Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> That's pain laughing. Puppy, why are you laughing? <laughs> Kayla's voice. What? Kayla's voice. <laughs> why are you laughing, Pepita? Because of Kayla's voice. I've never thought of that nice before. What's your diva? What's... Just like... When you call somebody diva, is that, is that bad or good? Bad. <laughs> Oh, it is? When I call somebody diva, I think it's, I say it in a compliment way, like, ooh, she's a diva. I guess there's two types to say to people. I say... <laughs> yeah, but no one wants to be called a diva. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, you're such a diva. I like, do that all the time. I was like, oh, lady, you're such a diva. And then she, and they <laughs> like it. <laughs> <laughs> do you never watch, like, movies and, how, and see how divas act? How do they act? Like, kind of like snobby, I guess. I guess you could call di people divas in two different ways. Yeah, you could have a really nice heart and be a diva. Like, I'm always diva to you. Like, get your hand off of me, like that. And get your face out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> but we love each other, you know. We don't mean anything by it. Okay, I'm done. This is like, I'm now I'm eating like nothing but potato. But anyways, guys, inner beauty, inner side. What's outside don't matter. Age. Color. You should do a make a video without makeup then. <laughs> what? Uh, you said inner beauty matters. Take off the makeup. <laughs> you're right. But this, you're right. But the reason I, I put makeup scare them. <laughs> is just being respectful. If you're in front of somebody, you know, that you respect, you're not going to be just showing up in pajamas. You know, you respect them by getting ready and looking your best that's what i'm doing okay i feel like i look the best when i put makeup on i don't know i don't know what i'm saying at this point say pictures to my friend high <laughs> <laughs> <My> school what <laughs> my friend <laughs> well, i'm not gonna say your name but you know my friend right that came over or just like came over i was like okay you know my friend talk english <laughs> you know my friend you're really whispering in the camera? I'm not going to say your name out loud. <laughs> what, what was it? The one you did with Paige? You want me to use my platform to shout out your friend? No, I'm not shouting you out. I'm calling you out. <laughs> what? Such a teenager <laughs> drama. I can't get into this right now. Okay? I went through that. Like, I got out of that, actually, like 30 years ago. Okay? Don't drag me in there. Goodbye. I've been talking with no purpose now. I got to go. See you later. Bye. She's granny.